everybody, it's me, Four, and I'm going to review some more crap, because that's what I like to do. So, before I start, I'm going to go ahead and say a few things. Uh, number one, I'm the coolest mother you know. Fact. Science proved it. Religion backed it up. You know what I'm saying? My homeboy. But, being the coolest mother that y'all know, I get special privileges. Like, no joke, I can walk into clubs and people are like, oh hey, that's the fucking four, can't let that guy in. It's a fact, it's happened. Check yourself. But in that, I also get to see, like, uh, movies before anybody else does. Uh, because I know a lot of people. I'm a connected mother yo. Straight. But, I also get a review or uh, get to listen to people's uh, albums before they hit. So today I'm going to review the Voodoo Dolls. Uh, and their album, The Marked One, before it even comes out. Because I'm special, you're not. <laughs> With that in mind, I, uh, I enjoy being special. It's nice, it's nice. Second thing I'm going to say is, F*** you Voodoo Dolls, F*** you. And here's why. This sounds great. Like, super professional sh**. And I'm sitting there going, what the f*** did you guys do? Like, get professional f***ing mother f***. And they're like, no, no, no. No, we recorded this in our f***ing kitchen. In the kitchen. You know what I do in my kitchen? I masturbate. And make pancakes. You do not want to lick the batter out of that bowl. Trust me. In fact, I should probably beg them to do our next album. Because if you listen to the comparison, it's... Yeah, it's pretty uh, bad. Their album, overall, uh, quality is there, 110%. What the band actually sounds like, I would say, you know, very corn meets orgy. And that's a good thing. Uh, they range from a hard, heavy, industrial sound all the way to a very melodic, you know, I'd say more Nine Inch Nails later years stuff. Um, you know, with a lot of melody and a lot of, like, stuff going on. Phenomenally good shit. Watch here. I'll post a clip. Uh, it goes from stuff like this. Because of the Covenant, uh, track number two, I do believe, to stuff like this. Everything inside of me But you can't hold on forever It's time to sleep Which is the hollow And that's like the last track or something Well, like number 10 or something But, uh, as you can hear the range Style-wise is there So that's really cool Um, it gives you a variety Unlike some bands Who I won't name But literally every track's the same And you think to yourself I just listened to this song 15 times in a f***ing row. That's retarded. I hate that shit. As far as like the look of the band goes, um, you can look at these kids and you can tell they've got their shit together. They're not just some ragtag band of garage heroes living in their mom's basement f***ing playing a show on the weekends. Nah, they come suited up, ready to rock, ready to do their thing. To me, to me, they look kind of like um, a goth prom party waiting to go to the yacht. Like, you know, before the serial slasher hacks all of them to death. I'm just saying, live, uh, they put on a hell of a show. They really do. They're, uh, they, again, they know what they're doing. Um, they come prepped, ready to kill, and they do it. They kill that stage every time. Four final thoughts for the day. Oh, the album sounds great. Uh, they look great, um, they on stage perform great, the band's got it all, they got it pretty much figured out. So I'm telling you, check them out, I'll put like a link, or I don't know how the internet's really works, you can ask anybody, I have no clue. Somewhere I'll put some links or something, and you'll go to them, and then everybody will be happy. Look what I made!